Hi, this is a 1950s to 60s uh, mid-terrace bungalow, but there is a side passage, so it's still classed as a mid-terrace because the roofs are connected. Um, in the loft, there is 300mm of loft insulation, which I'm measuring here, and also the hot water cylinder, which is here, hard to take a photograph of, but I managed to measure the insulation at 38mm. It is a dual immersion, judging by these controls here. The house was formerly heated by underfloor electric heating, and this is the old thermostat for controlling that system, which is now redundant. There's the other side to the side passage, and showing a gas box without a meter. Cavity wall insulation drill holes are present on the outside of the property, here, here and here, and the front door has some draft proofing strips. There's my ladders, see the link in the description. An XLS6 Stimplex, modern slimline storage heater, CFL, low energy light bulb. And then we have in the bathroom a shower, electric shower and bath. In the bedroom we have a CXL night storage heater and there's a blocked up chimney in the lounge. Uh, unknown date double glazing with a 16mm gap in the frames which are also draft proofed, proofed and the wall thickness is 300mm. In the lounge there is a large modern slimline XLS Dimplex uh, 300 cavity wall with insulation. Uh, dual rate electric meter and there's a rear elevation showing no conservatory and then a couple of pictures of some cavity wall drill holes on the rear elevation. At the side rear of the property, there is a reveal, which I have measured to include in the heat loss perimeter. The property has an expired EPC of a D63, and I've been tasked to um, increase that score to at least a C69, moving up a band. So the best way to do that is to remove the old storage heaters and replace them with high heat retention storage heaters. In other words, a Dimplex Quantums. So bedroom one has a combined storage heater which has a peak and off-peak supply. So that's just a matter of removing the storage heater and installing a QM70 in its place. No new wiring needed. But in bedroom two, there is a panel heater which will then need to be removed and a off-peak supply it put in. So then the new Dimplex Quantum QM70 can then charge up at night and then use the peak rate supply from the panel heater to, to operate itself. In the lounge, there's an XLS um, storage heater, which is a modern slimline, which only has an off-peak supply, as does the hallway. Uh, the lounge will need a larger one because of larger capacity, a QM125, and then a peak rate supply installed. The hallway will need a Quantum 100, and also a peak rate supply installed. Um, the fuse board doesn't have enough spare breakers on it to uh, cope with having one extra storage heater put in, so a new fuse board will be needed. So here I've got a quote generator uh, on an Excel spreadsheet. So you just tap in the quantity of off-peak supplies and peak supplies, whether you need a new fuse board or not, uh, the quantity of uh, different quantums, and then it totals it up and gives you a, uh, a total. Uh, and then that can be passed to the uh, electrical contractor to do the work. Many thanks. Please like and subscribe to the channel.